One of the questions that we're often asked is just what goes into uh, your engine overhauls in terms of parts and, and labor. So what I've done is I've laid out on this bench a group of parts that are typical of, um, of the components that are replaced uh, during the overhaul of a, uh, of a typical Jacobs engine. We have our new production FAA PMA link rods. We have the uh, new production uh, pistons. We have the carburetor magneto distributor. We have valves, guides, uh, rings, bearings. We have the accessory gears, the, uh, the nose case gears, the ignition harness. With the ignition harness, we have, uh, we have a couple different options. We can either put the Skyflex leads, the rubber-coated Skyflex leads, on the harness, or if you're looking for a little different original look, we can go back with the original um, brass uh, braided leads. And uh, either way, it uh, both systems work very well. But this just gives you a little idea of the uh, of the components that will go into a, a typical overhaul. Now, obviously, some engines will take more parts, uh, some engines will take fewer. But, uh, but this gives you a general idea of, of what we're looking at. Another question that we are often asked is about the cosmetics of the outside of the engine. Uh, colors of the cases, colors of the cylinders. And the truth is we can do pretty much whatever the customer requests. This particular engine is painted with our uh, signature house color. It's a, a blue-gray and Often people see this color at, um, at fly-ins and they say, I, I would like to have my engine painted that color. And that's fine. Uh, we've, we've become known for this color. But there are, um, we can certainly paint other colors. We can paint the, uh, the original factory colors. The, uh, the cylinders, uh, these cylinders are painted all black, which, which is the factory original. But we could do uh, natural aluminum heads with black barrels. We could do black heads with uh, silver barrels. Um, we have painted cylinders uh, blue, green, red, brown, gold. Um, over the years, many customers have requested many different colors, and, and that's not a problem. This is an area where there's a lot of latitude. So uh, if you contact us, let us know what you'd like there. We can do anything from a very, very original engine which uh, will have a little bit flatter paint and uh, will not have any chrome at all but will have the uh, correct cadmium plating on the hardware and so we can make it look like it rolled off the assembly line in 1942 or we can dress it up with chrome and uh, and make things look more custom if uh, if that's what you want now another area where we um, have begun to uh, have the customers get involved with us is we have a new program that we're calling our Active Observer Program. Now what an Active Observer is, uh, we are inviting you as uh, people whom, for whom we're overhauling engines to come in and, um, and be a part of the final assembly and the test run of your engine. I believe that there are certainly maintenance things that you and or your mechanic can learn by, uh, by observing and, and taking part in that, uh, the final phases of, uh, of the overhaul of your engine. And so if that sounds like something that, uh, that you'd be interested in, uh, feel free to contact us and, and we can discuss that more fully. Over the years, we've seen several things with the Jacobs engine that we felt could be improved. And as an FAA certified repair station, we began to, um, to obtain approvals to make some changes to the engine which, uh, which have really turned out well. Obviously the, the biggest one and the one which is probably the, the biggest improvement for the Jacobs engine in the last 60 years was the fuel injection. Um, we, uh, we were just very excited about that and very excited about what it's doing. Uh, a few of the other things that we have done, about 12 years ago we obtained FAA approval to convert the 245 horsepower Dash 9 engine to the 275 horsepower uh, R755B2 engine. Um, the, the R755B2 really is a superior engine 
uh, not only because of its um, uh, additional horsepower, uh, but because it's more reliable as well. So, uh, so we've done many, many of those conversions. Another one um, that, we, uh, that we obtained was an alternate piston ring for the R755A2 and B2 engines. Uh, a much more modern ring, uh, such as is used in the modern Continental and Lycoming engines. It does better with oil consumption, just a better ring all the way around. Another improvement has been stainless steel exhaust seats. We uh, obtained this approval uh, two or three years ago, and, uh, and this really does help as well. Helps, uh, it's, it's harder for carbon and lead to stick to a stainless steel seat, and the stainless steel seat doesn't erode as much uh, because of the unleaded fuels that are being used. And so, um, so this has been another improvement for the engine. Another one has been the Jasco alternator. Now, the Jasco has been around for many years, uh, since the late 60s. Uh, but the problem with uh, installing a Jasco on a Jacobs engine is that it just doesn't fit. Um, actually, this Jasco won't fit no matter what you do. This is, this is a Jasco for, a, for an R680 Lycoming, but I'm using it as a demonstrator. Uh, it, this, this has the round flange, whereas the Jacobs has a, a four-bolt square flange. But physically, uh, the, the diameter is the same back here, and there's an interference between the accessory drive housing and the, uh, and the oil pump with the Jasco. So, um, so the, the modification has been to machine both the accessory drive housing here on the side, and also the oil pump, so that the uh, the Jasco has clearance, and and we obtained uh, FAA approval to uh, to do this mod. Another one which uh, which has helped uh, tremendously has been a modern oil seal. For years and years, the only oil seal that was available for the um, uh, the magneto and um, the generator drive was the old original uh, Jacobs leather seal. Now, these haven't been in production since the late 1940s, and so the leather in these seals is very hard and doesn't do a very good job of sealing. Uh, leather also collects a lot of moisture. It absorbs moisture and then causes rust on the gear. This modern seal uh, uses a nitrile rubber, and um, uh, it uh, not only is, uh, is new production so that it, it isn't hard, but uh, it also doesn't collect moisture the way the old uh, leather seal did. Uh, the, you can see that the, the modern seal is thinner as well. It's only about two-thirds the thickness of the old seal. And what that does is if you, if you have a problem with your old seal and it, uh, it's worn, say, or, or caused pitting on the, um, on the gear, installing the new seal, you can locate the new seal in a little bit different location. Uh, because of its thickness, and uh, and thereby not have to tear the rear end of the engine down to get the uh, the oil to stop leaking. Another um, another improvement that we did was an alternate piston that we had approved about ten years ago for the Jacobs engine, and uh, and it has has done very well also. Um, the uh, the intake pipe drain we we've, we've already discussed that um, uh, automatically drains any oil that's in the intake pipe. Another improvement that, uh, that we just got approved uh, is the modification of the engine baffles. And this mod is good for, uh, for any of the Jacobs engines. This is a Cessna 195 baffle that we're in the process of modifying. Uh, you can see the rivets haven't been pulled yet. But um, what this modification consists of is trimming the bottom one inch off the baffle, trimming the aluminum away, and then riveting in its place a piece of rubberized baffle seal. Now the reason for this is, you remember when we were, uh, we were going through that uh, 25, 50, 100 hour inspection uh, procedure, every, the, well the first 25 hours after an overhaul, all the cylinder base nuts need to be retorqued and then every hundred hours thereafter they need to be retorqued. That's going to be a total of 12 times over the life of the engine that you have to retorque the cylinder base nuts. If your engine is a cowled engine like the Cessna 195 or the, the Waco YMF5, 
then that means you will have to remove all the inner cylinder baffles each time to retorque them. It's really a bad idea to only torque those nuts that you can reach. And it's amazing how many times we see that. Uh, people just go in and they, they torque the front cylinder base nuts because they're easy to get to, fail to torque the real, rear cylinder base nuts. As a result, you have six nuts in the front that are carrying the load that was designed for 12 nuts to hold. And it's only a matter of time before uh, cylinder base nuts begin to, uh, or cylinder base studs begin to shear, and uh, ultimately a cylinder will depart the aircraft. So it's very important to retorque those cylinder bases. Um, by trimming the baffle up an inch and putting this rubberized material in, we still are providing an air dam uh, the way that the original baffle did, but we're, we're making it possible to retorque the cylinder bases without removing the baffles. Now what this does is it takes that project from um, a, probably an eight hour minimum uh, to remove all the baffles and reinstall all the baffles to about a 45 minute to an hour project of retorquing them with the baffles in place. Uh, over the life of your engine, what, uh, if, you, if you pay to have that done, that will be about, uh, going this way will save you about $5,500 at, uh, at today's shop rates. So, um, so these improvements uh, are not only uh, improvements to the longevity of the engine, uh, there are also improvements that, uh, that can save some money in the long run. Um, what do we see for the future? Well, there, uh, we are PMA holders. We have uh, FAA PMA approval to manufacture several parts that relate to this engine. Uh, as other parts become scarce, we'll, uh, we'll add other parts to that PMA. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we, we intend to fuel inject the L6 Jacobs engine. And we have a few other projects on the horizon that, uh, that I think will be improvements to this uh, already great engine. Well, that brings us to the end of our presentation today. I hope you found the things that we have shared here helpful. If you have any questions or comments, we'd appreciate hearing from you. Here at Radial Engines Limited, we have the most experienced team of Jacobs engine technicians anywhere with more than 150 years of combined experience. That's certainly not to say that there aren't engine problems that can sometimes stump us, but we have been around long enough to see most of the tricks that the Jacobs engine can do. So until next time, remember, radial engines do not leak oil. They're only marking their territory. <laughs>